We're out here with my client, Lindsay, who just finished her first ever bikini competition. I'm so freaking proud of her. And really quick, I don't know if you see these trophies here, but I just wanted to highlight some of the things that we went through and some of the major highlights from this first competition for Lindsay. So um, I know we didn't get the exact result we were going for, right? Uh, we did take fourth and true novice. We took fourth and novice, and then we took third and open, right? Right. Let me ask you a quick question. Did we try our hardest? Yes. Did we achieve and bring to stage the best physique you've ever personally accomplished? Yes. So in my book, that's a complete win. Would you agree with me? It's a win. A win's a win. win's Absolutely. A win. So let me ask you this. What was the experience like of going through your first prep? Because it's, uh, it's extremely challenging. It's uh, probably one of the hardest things I've ever done personally. I don't know about you. So yes. I don't know. Maybe share a little bit about like the challenges you faced and also like some of the things that you've heard other people doing that you're glad you didn't have to do. Right. right. Okay. So prep for me was a really big mental thing, not only physical, 100%. but mental. Um, so I stayed busy my entire prep. I'm a single mom. I'm in college. I work full time. So making sure that I dot my eyes, cross my teeth. Stopping there is extremely impressive, but um, I don't know. What, what else were you, were you going to say there? Oh, I was just going to say, like, you learn so much about your body whenever you're on prep. You watch your hormones, like, shift. You watch your weight drop. You watch it come 100%. back up. You watch um, how food, honestly, is is fuel. Don't abuse your food in a bad way, and you learn that food is what gives you life. And basically, on prep, you have to accept, well... This ground beef and rice is what's making me live and I'm gonna eat meal by meal so I can get to my goal the next day. I think one th key thing that I think we both started to learn more and more too is as you got leaner, we started to really notice and dial in on those things, those very specific foods. There was a, a few foods we noticed like, oh, this didn't agree with your stomach as well. Right. And as you get leaner, you can really tell like, oh, I tried this food and I got a little bloated from it. Okay, so it's probably not ideal for your digestion. So this is all great things that you can carry into your day-to-day -day life moving forward. Like, okay, I probably should keep this out of my diet because I know it's gonna give me inflammation, even if you're not gonna notice it as as much right. as if you were if you weren't as lean but when you're lean you can really see all those little fine details that make a huge difference which yes. that helped us a ton for today yes. which was like going through the actual peaking of your physique during the show day um, and I think another really important thing I wanted to highlight too was uh, I remember you tell me you're in a bunch of group chats and forums of other bodybuilders and when Lindsay first came to me, I had one rule and I was like, I will not take you through a prep unless we have a super healthy metabolism. So in order for her to go through this prep and not have to starve herself and eat seven, eight, nine hundred calories like most people do on their preps, which is definitely things she's heard in her forums, which are like people eating eight, nine hundred calories, 60 minutes of cardio a day. Lindsay, when did we start doing cardio? We started doing cardio my last week of peak week. Yep. Besides steps. Steps was my cardio. Yep. So we started your steps at like eight or 9,000. And they, every week we just kind of added 1,000 steps. We worked up to 20,000 steps a day. And then the last week to really dial things in, we picked up 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes of cardio um, just to dial in just a little bit more. And my favorite part was we never even had to drop her below 1,700 calories, which is honestly unreal and as you can see in these photos here like we brought an absolutely amazing physique to the stage uh and ultimately i want to make this video because i wanted to tell Lindsay i'm extremely proud of you wow. for going through your first prep going through your first competition bringing your absolute best physique to the stage we didn't get the outcome we wanted you also picked the hardest show in all of texas but i know for a damn fact we're gonna do another one and i also know we're gonna absolutely crush and yes. we're gonna take home first Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you for giving me the opportunity of to course. coach you. Thank you so much. Absolutely.